Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mr. Ezekiel here and today we are going to learn how to do these type of edits. So stay tuned in. Okay, so now that we are where everything takes place, all of the magic, I just want to say that first, what I always do is check the track and, um, you know, you got to start and see the intro and the ending and for all type of clips of videos, I usually use trap music where the bass and the kick is really strong, but, you know, you can't really use like these openings even though even if they are really cool or the build-ups because you would take too much time and nowadays what you want to do is attract your viewers attention the people your audience that are watching your videos you don't want to make them wait so much so I usually just grab a little bit of the build-up and the first kick boom that's where you're gonna line up your first video okay so first things first i'm just gonna cut this part um this little bit part of the song because i don't want all of that i don't want to make people wait and we're gonna line up the video as a character first shot and the audio's first kick another thing i want to comment is that i slowed it right there i slowed it a little bit so it could have a more strong effect and be a little more appealing to the eye. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it here in CapCut. Okay guys, so once you guys are in these options, all you have to do is click on this tab and next on this box because this is the personalized timing settings. And you guys gotta scroll down. I have three little dots here and that's really all this process. It's not really that difficult, but I think I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna reset it so you guys can see how it's done. So first thing you guys wanna do is um, see where the shot is gonna line up with the first kick of the song. And the moment you guys find that, you add a little spot and add another one right before it and another one right after it. This is gonna help us control the time. So when we hit the opponent, we're gonna drop that little ball all the way down which means it's gonna slow down. And we're gonna drag it to the, the other one to the right. So that effect doesn't end so fast. And it looks something like this. And as it's lined up with your song, it's gonna look and be appealing to the eye. Another thing I wanna say before I move on guys is that these gaps are something like, uh, I use it for transition really. Um, it went with the song and I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that because you know like they say um, Keep it simple and it looks way better and that is so true in editing and in music production Keeping it simple is gonna Be a wow. Don't throw in a thousand effects. Don't throw in a thousand transitions. Don't throw in a thousand slow motion um, Times because that's just really gonna mess up your video and another thing I want to tell you guys, give you guys a piece of advice, is that you guys got to do it how you guys are feeling it. Like, you guys got to feel the music with your clips, the lineups, and all of that. I'm just, I'm just showing you guys the slow motion effect on here on CapCut and how I line it up with my audio tracks. So, that's going to be it for today, guys. Like and subscribe. And any questions, doubts, or if you need help, leave it in the comments and I'll get right to you as soon as I can. So, peace out.